Hey guys, this is Brad Darian here for a little quick video. Um, I've actually got a bit of a situation. Uh, my RetroTank 5X, uh, which is right here, seems to have stopped working. I mean, it does power on. As you can see here, it powers off. And I'm using the remote here, it does power on. And I currently have it connected. Uh, there's the HDMI cable right there going to my capture card. And these are the component cables coming from uh, my Monoprice component switcher box. And this is the USB cable going in. And, you know, last week I put up that Seaman video uh, using the Dreamcast. And the Dreamcast uses SCART. And the SCART cable is right here. Um, I have it unhooked right now because it's a short cable. But, uh, but I was using that, and as you can see, it was working fine then. Uh, but then I come back to it. A few days later to maybe film another Seaman video and I was getting no HDMI signal output so you can see my capture card right here it says that there is no signal and that's and again that's this cable uh, right here so I'm gonna unhook this cable now and I'm now gonna plug in this cable here which is the cable going to my TV. So just give me a second here. There we go, so that's plugged in. And I'm now going to plug in, this is the same, this is the other end of that cable here, so I'm going to plug this in. This is the 360 right here, actually. So I got the 360 on right now. And I'm going to unplug that cable here. You see it's gone now. So now I'm going to plug uh, the other end of the other HDMI cable into into HDMI 2 port and as you can see nothing happens on there either you can see that something is connected to it because it says checking the device connected to HDMI 2 so it can see that something is there but there's nothing um, there's no signal um, even if you have nothing connected to the retro tank it should still output a blue screen and then you can still access the menu uh, using the remote and stuff. You can even access that through the buttons here on the uh, device itself. But, you know, but as you can see, there's nothing. Um, there's absolutely nothing. I'm getting absolutely no signal. So I've been on the uh, Discord server for uh, the RetroTank community. I've been, and we've been trying to troubleshoot. This is me right here. So um, they were asking, you know, what the latest, uh, what firmware I have installed, and we were trying to troubleshoot um, the HDMI cable. Now we're trying to troubleshoot the, um, you know, now we're thinking there might be something, uh, there could be something wrong with the HDMI port, because I mentioned here that I do occasionally swap out cables for. Uh, the one cable that goes to the capture card here, and the other cable that goes to the TV, like I showed you. I do occasionally swap those cables out because because uh, uh, I don't have a splitter, and that possibly may have caused some stress. It may have uh, tore something on the PCB. Um, but I literally didn't change anything. Uh, um, when I came back to this after it was working, it just suddenly wasn't working. So it's really odd how that happened. Um, but the retro tank not working is is really bad because I need the retro tank to be working in order to play any of these systems on this TV because this is a uh, uh, this is a modern OLED TV so there's no uh, there's no analog inputs on it so I have to have all this stuff the Dreamcast the Wii PS2 VCR uh, the 360 will still work as it has HDMI output obviously but everything else the Wii PS2 the original Xbox uh, VCR, Dreamcast, um, that all uses component or something, so I can't, you know, so I need the RetroTank 5X to be displaying a picture in order to play anything on this TV, or, or any modern device. Um, so that's really unfortunate, so I really want to get this working again, but I'm not sure I may not be able to. Um, so, um, I'm still waiting to hear back from somebody else here to see if they have a solution or if if this can be repaired or what because i have had this two years now two and a half years now actually 
Um, so this is this is a very unexpected problem, um, especially for a product costing, you know, this much. But I don't know. Hopefully something can be worked out. I'll keep you guys updated. But still, yeah, um, very unfortunate that this happened. So just very a, a very weird thing. Uh, but anyhow, guys, that's all for now. Um, but, but like I said, I'll keep you guys updated in the comments if anything changes. So thanks for watching. And if you've had this issue too, do let me know. And if you found out a problem or found out a solution to this problem, do let me know in the comments. But anyhow, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.